Time to try 17 different types of ruffles. If you're not familiar with what ruffles are, they are ripple chips or wavy chips, ridged chips. You know, I was having a discussion with friends not that long ago about what the fuck, what the fuck you call these. Some people just call them ruffles, but that's the brand. That's different. But anyway, I have a bunch of American varieties, and then to make it a little more interesting, I ordered some Canadian varieties as well. Uh, but let's get into it. I love ruffles, so I think this one's gonna be very enjoyable for, for once. First off, you've got your classic original. Uh, I usually prefer these with some kind of dip, but, you know, it's not bad. It's your classic salted ruffle. Yep, nice and crispy, just simple salt, decent potato flavor. With dip, this would be divine, especially like a French onion dip. On their own, they're not bad. They're like a, a solid B plus, you know. Just a fine, a fine and dandy ripple chip. This is the gold standard. This is my favorite chip. Look at that orange tinge. Absolutely divine, the S rank, the golden standard, the triple S, the quadruple S, 500 S's. It's, it's salty, cheesy, tangy, creamy, got a nice rich flavor. The ripples make a di or ruffles, I guess, make a difference. And that nice crunchy texture. This is just the, the cream of the crop, the sour cream of the crop. I fucking love these chips, my favorite chips of all time. Next up, we got sour cream and onion. See some flecks of green on there. Very solid. Not as not nearly as salty as I remember, which is good. They got it's kind of like a nice sweet onion powdery flavor. Uh, that creaminess as well. These are like, um, you know, I'm just gonna say it. I would eat this whole bag. Uh, S rank. I think these are great. Um, again, I love the texture of ruffles. Each ridge gives it a nice crunch. Let's get some of these boring ones out of the way. Here's Simply Ruffles Sea Salted Reduced Fat. Pretty good. You know, I think they're nicely salted. They got a good crunch to them. I think they are even might be even slightly crunchier than the other ones. And yeah, they don't have that fry, nearly as much fried feeling, but they're good. A good solid uh, B. I would, I would definitely. These would be great with some dip as well. Some Ruffles Baked. 70% less fat than regular potato chips. You've never seen these, they're kind of hexagonal. I actually like these more on their own, better than regular ruffles. I'm one of those people that likes baked potato chips. They, 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 they're they very different. They have that kind of like almost airy sort of light crunch crispness. And the flavor is less like salt and fat and potato and more like almost like a potatoey rice cracker like a a minus a minus um i would rather have regular ruffles for dipping but as a snack ruffles baked uh, cheddar and sour cream with all that orange powder cheese flavor is still really strong really powerful um in fact with less fat to kind of like you know, be in your taste buds. Um, you can kind of taste the cheese powder more. I still think the regular ones are the gold standard, but these are a strong S S minus, S minus. Still great. All right, flaming hot ruffles. You know, flaming hot Cheetos are very popular. I don't think I've had flaming hot ruffles. They're very red. I think the flaming hot powder works best with a Cheeto. There, I need I need kind of like more crunch and puff or whatever. On a chip, especially a crispy chip like this, the chip kind of melts away and then it's a little bit too much. Like a B minus. Like I still would eat these, but I wouldn't go out of my way to get these, I don't think. Let's see if the baked version of the Flamin' Hots will do anything. There's a red ass chip. Look at the back. These are better. These are better. Um, the type, the different texture of the baked chip means there's more crunch and, and the potato lasts longer, right? So you still have that nice crunch with the nice spice 
it all comes together. This, I would, again, I don't know if I'd go out of my way to get this, but this is a B. Um, good. These are better than the Ruffles, a regular Ruffles. I think if you're going to go with the Flamin' Hot, the baked ones are actually better. And you taste, there's even like a stronger spice flavor too. Now let's try Flamin' Hot Barbecue with the basketball player, Jason Tatum. Oh, oh shit. Not bad, but kind of clashing. Um, still got that spice. But then it's like, there's like kind of a smokiness and a little bit of sweetness at the barbecue. I wish there were more sweetness. I think if this were like a sweet, spicy thing, this would have been a pretty big hit. Trying to compete with Flamin' Hot, but Flamin' Hot is kind of pushing it aside. It's like, get out of here, little brother. Like, wouldn't go out of my way to get these again. Might be the my least favorite so far. I'm gonna say C plus. Keep going on the spice train. Jalapeno ranch. I like it. Imagine like Cool Ranch Doritos. You got that you know tangy, creamy ranch flavor with some like kind of like kind of like a pickly jalapeno on top. It's got a nice little kick. A spicier Cool Ranch Dorito works well with the chip. These are pretty tasty. I'm gonna say B plus. These I would eat. I mean, I mean, I would eat all of these, but these are good. I like these. Now let's try lime and jalapeno. I've always had a weird relationship with lime lime chips. Okay. As far as lime chips go, not bad. I'm still not crazy about it because they're a little too sweet for me. The jalapeno works though. It's got a nice, savory, slightly spicy sort of backbone. The lime is still kind of the most flavorful part and it still has that kind of like tangy, very sweetish, almost skittly taste I'm not crazy about. Just like a flat C. Wouldn't get these again, but uh, if given some of these, they're not bad. Like, I'm still snacking on them. That's time for Ruffles. Queso. Pretty good. I like the cheese flavor. Kind of like a strong, almost like sour, pickly like taste. Like, a, maybe that might be like peppers or something, but not as good as the cheddar and sour cream. But they're a different beast, which I like. I think more Dorito, tangy vinegar. These get a nice B. A good solid B. Here's a Canadian one, Double Crunch Jalapeno Cheddar. I've had the Double Crunch, we had Double double Crunch runs here, but let's see how these stack up. So you can see the big ridges. These are pretty dope. Um, they're basically kettle cooked. I love kettle chips, so they have that nice crunch, and these days, these have that classic Jalapeno kettle chip flavor. Uh, spicy, but not too spicy, but kind of like almost creamy, spicy, savory flavor with that nice cheese tang. I think jalapeno is like one of my favorite kettle chip flavors ever. And these are just straight up kind of creamy jalapeno kettle chips. Uh, B plus, B plus. All right, let's continue down the Canadian track, eh? Double crunch ketchup. I like ketchup chips. I know some people are grossed out by them. I'm grossed out by you. Nice red tinge. Yeah, great crunch. You know, still kettle cooked. That nice sweet tomatoey flavor, tinge of vinegar. It's just ketchup on fries. You know, people who are weirded out by ketchup chips, it's just ketchup on fries. They're good. Again, B plus, B plus. I'm surprised we don't have a barbecue. Or maybe we do, but I just couldn't find it. But uh, Canada has a barbecue flavor. Similar vibe to like Lay's barbecue. They got that sweet barbecue flavor, kind of smoky, savory. But instead of going overboard on sweetness, it just stops and it's smoky, which is kind of nice. Because the ketchup ones are like very sweet compared to this. In fact, if you combine this with the ketchup chips, that would taste like Lay's barbecue. That sweetness of the tomato with the smoky, slight sweetness of the regular barbecue. I kind of, I kind of wish they were a little sweeter. So I'll say B plus. Still very good, but just, just shy. Now these are very, uh, very well known. The all dressed Canada was like, oops, dropped all the ingredients in one bag, eh? All right. 
Honestly, though, I totally get it. They're great. I love them. They've got tanginess. There's got to be some kind of vinegar in there. They got sweetness. They got savory. They got salty. They got sour. All these flavors combined. It's like the sweet, salty, sour, savory. All the flavors. So it's kind of like bordering like a barbecue chip mixed with like a salt and vinegar chip. Um, which is a pretty good combination. Again, A-. minus. I totally get these. These are, you know, every time I've had these... I've always enjoyed them. And finally, here's what I'm really interested in. Sour cream and bacon. Okay. Whoa. These taste like breakfast. This is like, if you took bacon, maple syrup, or brown sugar or something. They're like sweet. It's like a sweet, smoky... I'll be honest, a little bit too much on like the smoky. Like this tastes like like if you put bacon on a pancake and ate it together. Not at all what I was expecting. I think it's fascinating. I love that it gave me such pause as I did not expect it to taste like this. I like I've had meat chips before. I thought they were just gonna be like, oh, they're smoky, salty, that's it. This tastes like a waffle studded with bacon. I think as an experience, it's just I love it. Cause I've never tasted a chip like this before as a like would i eat this all the time no but i'm gonna rank these as a b in terms of overall snackability but an s if you, you just need to try these they're so strange all right that was 17 different types of ruffles uh i had a good time with this one i love potato chips favorites were still cheddar and sour cream they were still the gold standard lime jalapeno were probably my least favorite but i have my biases against lime chips you know as a lime chip, they were actually pretty good. So, overall, pretty solid selection, and uh, I don't have to be miserable. Maybe next time.